Okay, so this is the plot to this movie. That's it. Okay, so San Andreas stars The Rock and other people like Paul Giamatti, Alexandria Daddario, hope I said her name right, and I don't know the rest of them. Um, and it's about the in San Andreas Fault line, basically just ripping <laughs> earthquakes, you know, disasters. It's a it's like the game Plants vs Zombies, where there's waves of waves of zombies each get stronger. This is a movie of ways of disasters that get stronger and stronger as the movie goes on. It's like Plants vs. Zombies. So, that's the best way I can describe this movie. But San Andreas is a really goofy disaster movie, and I had a lot of fun watching it. It's so stupid, but it, it, but it's awesome. I mean, the cheesy dialogues there, the, um, ah, the over-the-top disasters... The unbelievable um, stunts and um, falls people take, but they still live. That kind of crap. It's that kind of movie. So, yeah, this is some of the most fun I've had all year with a movie. Um, but it's not one of the better movies I've seen this year. Well, I guess you could say it is, but I've seen better movies this year. But it's fun. For It knows what it is. It's a very self-aware movie. With a real, some really good performances, surprisingly. And Alexandria Daddario. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for that pause. Um, she's really hot. Um, just, just, just take a look. Yeah. Um, it's a moment of silence for that. Okay. But, um,. She's probably the worst out of everyone, but she's still fine. She's still fine as an actress. She just overreacts to everything. Like her, her eyeballs are always like. Pfft. It's 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 hilarious. But um, this movie's really um intense too. I mean, it's it's got some really intense disasters, some great visuals. But that first scene, where this car is tumbling over, it's so fake. It's hilarious. But um. Uh, it's some really good, um, like, special effects in here for the disasters, you know, um, the waves, like tsunamis, that kind of thing. And there's some really intense scenes. Almost every scene is intense, and it's really good. And it even balances out with some good humor, and even some good dramatic flair, which sort of worked. It was for mainly just for The Rock's character, you know, they, he needed a, a backstory so you could care about him. And luckily he's, like, the rescue chopper helicopter guy um so it made sense why he could um parachute out of um planes and fly helicopters and crap you know that good stuff it made sense so i like what they did with that and know uh, paul giamatti he delivers some hilariously cheesy dialogue but only he can pull that off um but he's basically the scientist that um gives all the exp um yeah, exploration exploration is that the word i'm looking for Eh, exposition, that's the word. He gets all the expositional dialogue telling you how all these earthquakes and waves and crap occurred. And it's like, hmm. Most of the time I get logical, but he pulled it off. He was good. Um, I'm really excited today. I'm energetic. So, pardon me if I if I talk too fast. I heard noise, but who cares. Um, but yeah, this movie's really freaking fun. Like, I'm really excited at that. And to talk about this movie, it's it's really fun. It's a really cheesy disaster movie. That's what it is. And I have really liked um, watching it. But as I said, the dialogue is some of the dialogue is just cheesy and terrible, but it's hilarious. And um, try that. And it's a bit too long at the end. Um, although I did like the end, it felt a bit long at times. At times, it's really fast paced. Otherwise. Um, and there's some, um, uh, I try to think of more, um, problems. <clears throat> oh yeah, there's a, um, a couple small little side characters that I didn't really care for. I mean, not, I'm not talking about the brothers. I'm talking about 
the news reporter mainly. What was her purpose in the movie? I guess to have Paul Giamatti explain to the world what was happening. I guess that was her point. I don't know. It, yeah, there's some yeah, there's some stuff like that. And this movie is just cheesy. It's it's cheesy as heck. It's really stupid, but it knows it. So overall, I'll give San Andreas a B. I mean, it's nothing special, but it, it's really fun for what it is. So San Andreas, I'd recommend it. Um, yeah, I'd say it's, I'd say it's recommended, but you notice I didn't critique it as much as I w would usually do. It was like, uh, like, how is this scene shot? And, um, like, uh, ah, I, like the performance from this actor was so good, or so terrible, so terrible, so bad. Um, that's because this is not a movie I need to critique. No, no, not at all. This knows what it is. It's a cheesy, silly disaster movie that could have came out in the 90s. But it was really fun. So, San Andreas. What's your thoughts? <laughs> um, but yeah, I was going to do a review of the Point Break trailer. But I'm just going to say that trailer, because I'm not going to review it. It was flat out terrible. The acting looks horrible. Do not see Point Break when it comes out on Christmas Day. Do not see that movie. Do not. I haven't seen it, but I know it's going to be terrible. It will ruin the original Point Break. If you want a good action movie, go watch the original Point Break. Just letting you know. That was my thoughts on the Point Break trailer. Um, I know I kind of incorporated that into the uh, San Andreas review, but I just wanted to let you know because some people were asking me um, what I thought of it. So, but yeah, so that's my review of San Andreas. So peace. <laughs>